Welcome to this next episode of YouTube, where we're starting to enjoy the fall colors, and granted it's not as peak as it is elsewhere in the forest. Uh, this exhibit does have a lot of non-native species that tend not to cycle the same way that some of the native trees do, but things are definitely drying up, and whether that's the drought condition or whether that's, you know, again, the time of the year, uh, we are seeing some coloration and we're seeing some, some vegetation that's, that's in the decline. But you can see the native maples, red maple, are turning. Uh, some of the non-native maples are still kind of green and will probably retain that green pigmentation until the leaves do decline and fall off. But we're seeing um, a lot of activity, certainly more daytime activity than we've had since the pups have been introduced. And some of that is, you know, cooler temperatures. Certainly, we do have our warm moments. And again, a warm moment for a wolf pup with uh, a good winter coat is about 60 so we've had some days in the high 50s, and that's uh, created a little bit more stimulus, a little bit more activity. And we are seeing both pups actively engaged in interacting with adults. There isn't, you know, one that favors one adult or the other. They interact with Aiden as much as they interact with Denali, and it, it's certainly not any favorites or anything that we're seeing as far as interactions. This is both uh, discovering, again, his height advantage of uh, as he grows bigger and taller he gets to go higher places. He is a very curious pups but also very cautious. Uh, Boltz doesn't try anything that isn't a little bit hesitant and that includes feeding, that includes interacting with everybody and you'll see later in a clip where he steals a cache and gets chased by everybody and his tail posture is pretty low. So here he's just kind of exploring and we thought Luna was just kind of resting. It's a, it's a little bit of a warm afternoon when this was filmed. And she's panting a little bit. You know, that dark coat does warm up a little bit. So we thought she was just taking a snooze on a log. But one thing that we observed about this clip, if you notice, her ears are real perk forward. And when the other wolves come up, her ears kind of turn to the side a little bit. So this isn't just a normal rest. There's something going on here. And so Bolts is the first one to kind of come over and check it out and he comes over with a t2 tail and tries to do a stand over and luna is going to give him a little bit of a threat display there but that one thing that that i think all the wolves know about luna is she doesn't do threat displays unless there's some kind of a food resource around and so as bolts starts to get a little bit more curious and a little bit more interactive luna is going to try to again do a little bit of a distraction um one of the things that we learn as far as taking care of wolves is we want, if they have something we want, we just go play with something else and see if that changes their focus. And so Luna tries that a little bit, and that doesn't work. So she's going to stand up and do a little bit of a jaw spar. And uh, that jaw sparring, again, is with bolts. And now that she decides to sit on her cache, then maybe that will help uh, protect her cache. But by this time... You know, uh, Denali had just passed through, and here comes Denali again. And certainly, there's way too much interest here for Denali to ignore this. So Luna bites Denali, and Luna can hold on. Boy, she she's small, but she can hold her own. And and Denali oftentimes backs off when she's grabbing him, biting him. So then she decides to try to dig up the cash. Well, that time Bolts is taking a little bit more possessive nature, and he does a jaw spar with. Denali, and then he goes back to Luna, and she's again trying to distract and defend the cache a little bit. So this kind of jaw sparring wrestling, and again, this isn't aggressive. This isn't, you know, he's out to get her. This is over a piece of food. Wolves are food possessive. Even if we just fed them a pound, they would be, you know, food possessive over the next ounce. It's just the nature of the business. And Luna is very food possessive. So Bolts is kind of trying to get some of that, get into her cache, grab him by the back leg and pulls him back, and then she tries to do a little bit of a ride up, and you can see Luna still has a height advantage, or disadvantage. Bolts is, you know, eight days older than her, and, and uh, about 20 pounds heavier than her, so he's got, he's got some power on her, but power isn't everything. Physical power isn't everything. Luna can control the situation by, you know, as you see here, jaw sparring. Bolts is going to take advantage of his height and his weight and do a uh, ride up. And Luna's not going to take that sitting down, that's for sure. So this is a little bit tense. And you can see Denali is kind of circling around. He's just waiting for the opportunity to come in and steal it. And so Luna's now having to defend from Denali as well as from Bolts. 
Now Bolt's being a little timid. He saw it, an opportunity there. I thought he maybe could come in and take that cash, but his timid nature uh, kind of got the best of him, so he, he held off there a little bit. But Luna's getting pretty occupied with Denali, and actually she drives Denali into the camera there, and, and that moment when Denali and the camera and Luna were one, Bolt took the the cash and I think it was just chicken it really wasn't anything real that valuable but one of the problems with when you've got it everybody else wants it so what Bulls proceeded to do was be the source of everybody's chase and that's not a great position to be in when you're a lower ranking wolf like and especially a timid wolf like Bulls and so it it resulted in about a 10 or 15 minute chase going around the pond and here comes Aiden at the back end T1 tail going down to the T2 tail you know he's not interested in the cash he's just interested in the chase scene so he'll be following Denali and trying to assert a little rank over Luna just wants the cash back so she's going to be following Bolt and keeps going around the pond and yeah, Bolt is getting very agile you can see him cross the log there without too much trouble but again look at the timid nature of Bolt you know his tail is down his heckles are up a little bit you know, he clearly does not want to be the focus or the center of attention. So this YouTube was not about a chase scene. It really is about the enjoying the fall colors here. And here's a great shot of Luna drinking out of the pond and seeing the reflection of the aspen leaves in the, in the pond. You know, it's a great time of the year to be in a wolf exhibit. We're starting to see the dynamics of fall pick up. Activity levels are increasing. Food po possession is increasing. Food consumption is increasing a bit. And again, Luna still on supplement. We plan to give her supplement until she won't take it anymore or until we reach uh, what we consider to be 90% of her adult weight. And again, we, I think we mentioned last time we don't know what that is, but we certainly aren't going to give up on her. We want to make sure that she's as health healthy as possible and also that you know she will likely be a joint supplement, nutritional supplement, wolf for the rest of her life, whereas every other wolf here waits till they're eight before they get joint supplements. Luna's going to definitely be taking advantage of that, um, you know, before she's a year of age. So uh, other than that, um, over in retirement, we haven't seen as much coloration because it's typically a conifer forest there, so it's not as much um, deciduous vegetation, deciduous trees anyways. We have some hazel, big hazel in the background there. But it is a nice backdrop, um, you know, other than the fence there. Grizzard does like to lay in that den and lay in the sun. It's a great vantage point. He watches the activities that are going on in the exhibit pack, but it's a great place for him to just kind of hang out. And that's what we see here. A little bit of whining, and that whining is probably in response to Oscar or in response to the fact that they got fed, he didn't get fed. You know, every morning the puppies get fed, and every morning Grizzard wants the leftovers. So over in the, the main retirement enclosure, we're again seeing some non-native elderberry there that's very hardy, uh, also doesn't flower or doesn't change colorations nearly as much as some of the native plants. But Malik is here kind of sniffing the camera out. We were just in the main enclosure, and so that's always a great opportunity for him to sniff. And, and one of the things I want to point out here is the cowlick, that raised uh, hair that's in the middle of Malik's face there is an easy way to tell him apart. The other way to tell them apart is who is doing the chin rest. Generally, it's Shadow. And so you see here Shadow, again, just asserting a little bit of authority over Malik. Ears perk forward. That chin is, is resting deep into his hide, um, putting pressure on his back, just asserting himself, doing an inguinal presentation there. That's uh, where he's sniffing um, the genital areas and the anal scent glands of Malik. And, Notice Malik's ears just get more and more timid, turn to the side. You know, a little bit of invasion of privacy there, but that's a shadow's right. And we do see, like I say, these kind of posturings are going on, but for the most part, nothing too serious. We see many, many, many hours on the surveillance cams where these two are laying on the den together and uh, certainly interacting. And that's Malik doing a little bit of a circle, averting his gaze to shadow. Shadow is going to block him a little bit. And he is blocking actually to the camera operator. So that is one thing that anyone who works with these wolves needs to get used to. Aiden does the same thing to keep Denali away, and Shadow does the same thing to keep uh, Malik away. So again, those are blocks to the individual people. 
not so much that he's probably protecting us as much as you know just doesn't want uh, the other lower ranking wolf to have more attention you know i you know that's our interpretation anyways until these wolves start talking that's the best we can do is interpret this behavior so that's it uh for youtube i'm going to end with a photo that i found real interesting it's bolts jaw sparring a little bit with denali but if you look at aiden's face behind him clearly aiden is in charge of this pack so that's it thanks again we'll see you next week